Hey, I'm Father Roderick. I'm a priest and I'm a geek, and I've been a lifelong Star Wars fan. And I've been waiting for this for a year. Last year, I was in London for the Star Wars celebration, and I had a blast. It was such an amazing experience. But I had one regret. I didn't get to see the trailer for The Acolyte. And some of the fans, chosen by the Force perhaps, got to see it. And some of my friends told me, it is so cool. We finally get to see the High Republic for the first time in the history of Star Wars in live action. Of course, we know this time from the books and the comics. But this is, this brings it to a whole new level. And back then, I didn't know that I would have to wait a year before I would be able to see it, before you would be able to see this. So let's watch it together, and then I'll get back to you with my impressions. Here we go. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. This is cool. We must not trust them. Oh, wow. Tell me what comes into your mind. Back at the temple. Life. Those balance. aliens are so cool. Life balance. I see fire. It's kind of what Ray says to Luke. <gasps> Carrie Ann Moss. Oh, oh, that music! Someone is killing Jedi. It's true. It doesn't make sense. Nice. Oh, look at that Wookiee! What happened? I sensed darkness. Amazing. The age of light. Darkness rises. This isn't about good or bad. Whoa! This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? What is that? <laughs> awesome! Wow! premiere June the 4th on Disney Plus. Whoa, that looked incredible. I am so excited about this. We get to see the Jedi Temple. This brings me back to the prequels, to the time that Anakin made that unfortunate visit to all these children that were learning the ways of the Force. And here we go back, you know, centuries in time to see when the Jedi Temple was working at its peak. And, and all these young Jedi are learning the ways of the Force. It seems to be a, a very... We know this from the novels. We know this from the comics. This was a, a, a... It was the High Republic. So this was the glory time of the Jedi. And here in this particular television series, we see the rise of something evil. And so far, it's not very clear what the enemy is. But we see this one red lightsaber. And so we know that it is more than the Nihil from, from, from the books. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, this, is, this is something more elusive, something a bit more hidden in the darkness. You can't trust your eyes. You don't know exactly what that is. But what we do know is that we see these Jedi fighting whatever menace is, is attacking the galaxy as we know it. Um, some more thoughts. Uh, I like the color palette. It's, it's these... There's a lot of beige in here, a lot of warm colors, uh, which, of course, that is kind of the color map, you could say, of the Jedi. It's all like the beige and the brown and everything, and you see this in the entire color grading of this trailer. Um, the lightsabers stand out because they're very bright and very, um, uh, you know, they stand out against that backdrop of, of, of this particular color palette. Another thing that, that struck me was you get some amazing vistas of, of these foreign planets, or I don't know exactly what that is, but that is definitely the same kind of quality that we saw in the more recent television series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and uh, of course The Mandalorian, and Ahsoka. It all looks really good. You can tell that some of these sets are probably also filmed in the volume, 
Um, but the, the Disney is getting better and better at opening this world and by showing us these big, these big vistas and uh, these flyover cities and landscapes. Um, it gives us it, it gives us the the scope that Star Wars needs. I also really like that one shot of the whatever spaceship that is that is crashing. Um, I hope that there is enough space. It's a Star Wars, so we want to also be among the stars and not just on planets. Um, what I immediately uh, loved was the choreography. This feels very much like like the Matrix, and not just because of Ka Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, th this also feels like um, the the. the the uh, what is a crouching dragon f crouching tiger f i never know you know what i mean uh so uh, there, there's a lot of i think really good quality choreography here in the fights it's not just with lightsabers it's also with knives and stuff so i've got the feeling that this is this is much more kind of action oriented um what else did we see well there, there's always this kind of looming thread we, we don't get to see much in this trailer i probably have to go back and dissect it and i'm sure that a lot of my fellow star wars fans will do this over the next couple of weeks because we have to do something between now and june of course i'm, I'm glad we still have the bad batch uh and and but once that is finished they're not gonna leave us orphaned without star wars for a very long time because we get a two episode premiere in june already and this this is really what I hoped it would be. I kind of expected it to be even more dark. Uh, when you saw the, the poster that they posted yesterday it, to announce the dropping of this trailer, there you see this, this lightsaber hilt and then that, that trace of blood. And so I was like, whoa, are they really going to, you know, make this almost for 18, 18 years and older? Is this going to be like really gritty violent i don't get that impression from this trailer especially because it begins with these kids so it kind of sends the message this is also for families you can watch this with your kids um so that, that kind of surprised me i thought it would be maybe darker but then again you don't have to show violence um or darkness to imply it and to make you feel ill at ease and that's definitely what this trailer did it made me feel like like what's going on and and that one red lightsaber which of course is the introduction in the middle of this trailer of that this is about jedi and you see all these other colored lightsabers it is it's very typical for anything that we've seen of the high republic even the book covers the comic books there are lots of lightsabers because this is the golden era of the jedi and now for the first time there's this real thread that I think is related to the dark side of the force. This is not just some alien race trying to wreak havoc. This, this is about the counterforce to the goodness, to the light side of the force. And it will be very interesting to see where that darkness comes, comes from. And we know, of course, that this, the story of the Acolyte is going to focus on the Acolyte and that's dark side so we're going to see the other side of this story we've always focused on the jedi and their plight and why they do the things that they do and i hope that we get a credible story that shows us where this darkness comes from and why these dark side sith who knows why they do what they do so many story opportunities i don't think we've ever seen a story from this perspective and i'm so glad that we get this as part of the star wars universe i'd love to hear your thoughts i'm sure that i missed a ton of things but this is why i love these trailers we can watch them over and over and over again so let me know what your favorite part was in the comments below and i'll surely get back to you and uh, we can set up a discussion if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of my star wars commentary and commentary on other movies and tv shows make sure to subscribe thanks for watching and uh, Again, follow for more.